I'll put you a little bit on the hot seat, only because it's a, a burning issue, certainly in the medical sciences. The International Community, Committee of Medical Journal Editors, the ICMG, came out with a series of guidelines that defines a lot of things, but uh, tries to define what is an author or who should be an author of a paper. But the real overreaching aspect of the ICMG guidelines is pure disclosure of conflicts of interest right. um, and uh, who worked on the paper and whether they deserve authorship or whether they simply deserve acknowledgement. Um, do you, not putting your journals on the spot, but do you have any um, uh, beliefs as to how much disclosure sh should there be with respect to the statistician, editorial support and acknowledgements, things of that nature? Yeah. Uh, and it's not, I, I, I'll frame this in saying, although ICMG is in, with respect to medical and clinical journals, it is not necessarily applicable in all sectors of, of journals, uh, although as guidelines reach, it tends to lead to policy and lead to trends in the industry, yeah, yeah. and so I'm sure that these similar things are being talked about across many yeah. sectors. Yeah, and as editors, we talk about these a lot, and authorship has always been a, a, a big issue. Um, often we don't know, and that's part of the problem. So if there's anything you're going to see more and more of in journals, asking authors to be explicit, either in the cover letter or in the manuscript itself, in the footnotes, to the uh, to the byline of the authors, what each one did or didn't do. Um, I have strong feelings that, that the only people who should be authors are those that significantly contributed to the work, uh, to design of the study, to carrying out the study, to writing up the study and analyzing the results, etc. Obviously, in, in complex fields these days, one can't do everything, and certainly in, in complex areas, we're going to have subspecialists, and therefore they're going to they're going to be uh, very qualified in some areas of the manuscript and know nothing about another area, and, that, and that's fair enough. Um, but in general, someone who just um, provided the germ of an idea or someone who carried out the field work for one under direction shouldn't be an author. They should be acknowledged. Should thank them for their for what they what they contributed to the study, uh, but they they likely would warrant authorship. Mm -hmm. And I'm not in the medical area, and most of our only a couple of our journals overlap into the medical area, so we don't uh, find quite those same problems with uh, financial conflicts of interest. Mm -hmm. But we're seeing more and more of that, and 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 worry and concern, legitimate concern about um, where the authors got funding for the study. Um, does somebody have something that they're trying to gain, mm -hmm. whether it's a drug company, whether yeah, it's conflicts of interest, competing interests, that's right. things of that nature. That's right. um, and I, I'll throw into the mix that as journals become more and more electronic, everything is keyword searchable. Yep. And uh, one of the main reasons for acknowledging many people who are associated with your paper is that uh, these things, although they're tucked in at the end of the paper and acknowledgments, they are still keyword searchable. That's and, right. and so the acknowledgments are almost as visible in many regards as authorship. Yes. And even though you have a colleague who's not an author in the paper who but contributed in some significant way to the paper, right. eventually down the road five, ten years from now, these things, as this person's career increases, the recognition in this paper is actually very important because it may have predated their actual own authorship on their own papers, and That's this right. adds to their career. That's but, right. So it's, it, it is important to include these things, um, and uh, more now than before, just simply because of the electronification of these papers. That's right, and and I, I think we have moral obligation, uh, responsibility, to make sure that people are credited with the work they did, people make sure that they uh, uh, get the recognition that they deserve for, for the work that they mm -hmm. did.